we recently visited Klaus, a privately owned lodge in the Kalahari Transfrontier Park. This was the experience. Castro's was our guide, showed us the way over the dunes, dune wagon. Klaus Lodge, which is privately owned. Klaus Lodge, excuse the pronunciation. It's about 30 kilometers west of the Elbe River towards the Namibian border, which is there behind me. I wouldn't call it luxury. It's very comfortable. I had a really good night's sleep. The bed was um, very comfortable. Shower. Power goes off at 11 o'clock at night. It comes on again at 7 in the morning. So that's fine. It is a little bit warm when the power goes off because there's no aircon, of course. Managers. Anthony and his wife Susie are really really lovely people who really deserve a medal for keeping such an awesome place in such a remote surroundings. The lodge is owned in fact by the Komani and the Mir community, descendants of the San people. It's quite a complicated story, I'm not going to go into that, but I'll put a link in the description where you can read about it. There are various activities offered by the lodge, including a cultural village visit, which we didn't get to see, unfortunately it wasn't on. But we did go on the evening drive, which takes you across to the other side of the pan, where you can have sundowners and watch the sun go down over the desert. Also well worth getting up early in the morning and going on the guided walk. And you see all the little stuff that you don't see driving past in your car. And the guides are so very knowledgeable. We only stayed one night, but I recommend two or even three if you can do it. Um, what did I like? Well, what's not to like about this? There's nothing not to like. There's no internet. There's no cell phone reception. Not that I don't like that. I think that's, that's uh, positive. Possibly the fact that dinner time is at a certain time, breakfast is a certain time, and then activities are a certain time. So we not really people who like to be told what time to eat or what time to do something. So that's just me. But for others, it might be perfect. Oh,